Hey Canucks fans, Canucks TV play-by-play -play man John Shorthouse, the very popular John Shorthouse, will be returning to the Sportsnet broadcast for this upcoming season, maybe even longer. This was reported by Satyar Shah earlier this morning. And what's interesting is I didn't even know that this was a story. I didn't even know that Shorthouse's contract had expired, if it did, because all the attention was on the fact that very popular color commentator jo uh, John Garrett was retiring and we knew that John Garrett did that heartfelt uh, goodbye on one of the broadcasts last season and I know he's going to do a couple special events for Sportsnet and stuff like that but he will not be the Canucks color commentator going forward on the Sportsnet broadcast so uh, understandably all the speculation was around who's going to replace John Garrett and and so on and so forth but I didn't hear anyone actually talking about the fact that John Shorthouse there was a chance that he was going to leave so it was a bit surprising when I guess Rick Dollywell, I didn't see this, but I heard that he mentioned it on the show this morning, his show, Donnie and Dolly, that, um, that John, Horsh John Shorthouse was currently without a contract. And then a couple hours later, Satyar Shaw, Sportsnet 650, reported that John Shorthouse is indeed returning to do the Vancouver Canucks broadcast, TV broadcast. Now, we'll, uh, we'll see if it's a multi-year contract. We'll see if it's uh, year by year. I, I'm not sure, and I think Sportsnet will likely come out with now that the kind of cat's out of the bag, or maybe either later this week or probably early next week, we'll probably learn about not only Shorthouse, but his new color commentator, his new partner. So I'm sure they'll do some sort of press release where it introduces the new team that are going to do Canucks broadcast. So let's talk about Shorthouse very quick, and then we'll talk about who might be alongside him in the booth. 15 years now, he's been the, the voice of the Vancouver Canucks. And obviously, we've had some very, very good people here, starting with Jim Robson, of course. Then it moved to Jim Houston, Houston, and then, then John Shorthouse. And those are really been the, the, the standard bearers when it comes to play-by-play. -play. We've had different color commentators come in and out. And then, of course, we're talking about TV only and not the radio. So Jim Robson, now I think about it, was more, was more radio. But then as far as we can remember for TV broadcasts, um, it was John and Jim Houston, and then moving to John Shorthouse, especially as they uh, moved into to televising every single game that the Canucks play. We all love Shorty. We know that he got started on Sports Page way back in the day, and we we love his sense of humor, his wit, his sarcasm, and his knowledge of the game, his love for the game, and those come uh, comes out loud and clear on on all of his uh, his most, everything, his memorable calls, his regular routine calls whatever it is, he's not afraid to poke fun of himself. I think that's why he's so likable. Yet he's a, and he's a mainstay, MCs a lot of events locally. Um, so yes, I, I'm thrilled. I really like John Shorthouse. I think he's great. He is a, um, that's not an easy job to come up with new things, creative ways to keep people engaged, to know when to talk, when not to talk, when to let the crowd or the players tell the story, when he needs to tell the story or set the stage. And I think John Shorthouse is one of the best and we are very blessed to have him here in Vancouver. So John Shorthouse re-signing with Sportsnet, or to, at least to be the Canucks play-by-play -play man for at least the next year, if not more. Now, the bigger question, I think, is who is going to replace him? And when John Garrett made his, 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 uh, his announcement at the end of last season, there is rightfully a lot of speculation as to who might replace him. And there's some wishful thinking. There are some people that uh, I think some people wish that they don't get the job. But I think really, in my eyes, just from what I've heard and what I've seen and what I've read, I think it's come down to really two people. And that is Dave Tomlinson and Ray Ferraro. Now, Dave Tomlinson has just done two years as the Seattle Kraken radio guy. Before that, he would do some stuff on, on the TSN 1040, uh, guest hits. Sometimes he would do play-by-play. And he's good. Um, I like him a lot. He's uh, not the most exciting uh, creative guy ever, but he he also um, understands his job. And I think he does a, as a former player, he does a pretty good job of, of filling in gaps and he understands um, the nuances of the game, what players are thinking, what they are doing, what coaches are thinking, strategy, momentum, all those things. So I think he is a very good color commentator. He's not, like I said, he's not the most uh, entertaining guy I've ever heard. He's not as maybe funny as John Garrett, but he's certainly a very good communicator. So um, I've heard a lot of that. And I think Dave Tomlinson, even um, early in the summer, announced 
that he was leaving the Seattle Kraken, leading to speculation that he will he will be the next Vancouver Canucks color commentator. Then, of course, there were some rumors that it's going to be Ray Ferraro. Everyone loves Ray Ferraro, especially his work on TSN. He was a mainstay on TSN 1040 when it was around. And um, he, he does a lot of now his, his full time gig is ESPN. And I think he's still got the Ray and Drake's podcast. And Ray Ferraro, uh, I, I love him. I love him. I think he, well, obviously, he was a very prolific scorer when he played in the NHL. He's also, I'm not afraid to. To say how he feels, you know, within reason, of course, you can't make everyone mad at you. But he's also, yeah, he's very good, very, very honest, very blunt, and also a very good communicator. He is, I say, he's a type. He can be a little bit more sarcastic, a little bit more fr- uh, fiery than Dave Tomlinson, but still does a good job of getting his points across and working in tandem with a play-by-play guy. Now, of course, the nuance with Ray Ferraro is interesting because he is married to one of the assistant general managers of the Vancouver Canucks, and that is indeed. Cami Granado. So um, I, I don't think it's a conflict of interest per se. Obviously, she's professional. He's professional. It's not like she's going to tell him stuff that he's going to talk about on air. Hopefully, he's not going to be afraid to criticize the team when he needs to and not worry that he's going to get yelled at when he gets home or has to sleep on the couch or, or whatever, anything like that. Um, I can say that because I'm married. Not that I've ever had to sleep on the couch. At least at least uh, I've done it by choice. Anyways, it's not about me. It's a, it's about Ray Farrell and Dave Thompson and John Garrett and and John Shorthouse. So I, my guess is with all of Ray Farrell's ESPN commitments, he'll probably only be able to do a handful of games, whether that's a dozen or 15 or at the most 20. And then, so my guess is he'll do maybe a quarter of the games at the most, and Dave Tomlinson will do the rest, maybe depending on scheduling or, or maybe special games or whatever it may be. So that's my guess right now is that it will indeed be Dave Tomlinson as John Shorthouse's partner. John Shorthouse with the new contract and maybe Dave Tomlinson to announce him as his partner with a new contract as well sometime next week. A couple other things real quick. Young Stars starts tomorrow in Penticton. So uh, we'll, I'll be talking about that over the weekend. And uh, Tyler Myers gets his big bonus paid out tomorrow as well, September 15th. I'll do a vlog about that tomorrow. And then tonight, my live stream, I didn't get to stream on Tuesday night because I was watching Lionel Richie. So tonight I'll be streaming at 10.30 p.m. I hope that you can join me right here on this YouTube channel. We'll talk about Young Stars. We'll talk about scrimmages at UBC. Talk about Tyler Myers. We'll talk about John Shorthouse. We'll do kind of a grab bag of, of topics tonight and just to, um, just to get some conversation going about how you're feeling now that we're only, uh, yeah, one day away from Young Stars, one, day, one week away from training camp, and two weeks away from preseason, and one month away from the regular season. Shout out to my sponsors, Vancey Experts Real Estate, Perform and Transform Personal Training Weight Loss, Thank you, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Carol Bovenlander, legendary Andrew Chang, Hall of Fame and franchise members as well. Thanks to all of you and to everyone, no matter where you're watching from, how much I appreciate you, always appreciate you, and I never take you for granted. On your way out, subscribe, like the video, leave a donation, become a member, upgrade your membership, and of course, leave a comment down below. Your thoughts on this news, John Shorthouse returning behind the microphone in front of the camera, and now we've just got to find out who's going to be with them. Stay safe. Stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. See you tonight at 10.30 p.m. God bless, and go Canucks go.